If you're stuck in level one, level two in your evaluate questions, what I'm gonna take you through now is a really simple guide about how to increase the level of your response so you can consistently hit those level three and level four responses. It comes from a point of fundamentally understanding what the examiners are looking for in an evaluate question. You know for a fact you're going to get one of these, right? You're gonna get a couple of these actually. You're gonna get a couple of them in your paper one, you're gonna get a couple of them in your paper two. All right, so you have to know these as a core competency because look, they're so heavily weighted. So if you can nail these, you're gonna get higher marks in your geography paper. So let's go through the core competencies that the examiners are looking for you to demonstrate in each of your paragraphs and across the entire essay. What does it actually mean to evaluate? What I go through with my students is a high five. Number one, a range of knowledge, okay? Not just a range of knowledge, a range of relevant knowledge. Knowledge that is relevant to the question that's being asked of you. If it's irrelevant, you're not gonna be credited. If it's inaccurate, you're gonna go down a level. Connections and relationships, what are they? Connections and relationships are how you show development in your paragraphs. You've gotta show some relationships between rates of recession and geological factors. What's the relationship here? So what the examiner's looking for you to do is say because of this factor, it leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to recession. Level one students, they'll develop that much. Level two will probably go down to there. Level three will go down to there. Level four will go down to there or there. Number three, and this is when we can start to think about you getting into level three. A01. This is your key facts. When an examiner sees a number, yeah, or whether they see a place or a rock type or anything that is a specific bit of key terminology, a specific fact about a specific place, then you're going to get your A01 credit. I always tell my students, aim for one or two specific facts with reference to specific places in each of your paragraphs. If you're getting that, you're hitting top level. Number four, the most important thing for you to do in your evaluate questions. If you don't do this, you will consistently hit level one or low level two. It's really important. You must balance your response. Balance. Give two sides of the argument. If you're not giving two sides of the argument, you can't show elements of evaluation. And then finally, if you want to be hitting top level four, if you want to be hitting top level three even, you need a conclusion. That's a justified judgment, okay? That's what your conclusion is. If you consistently show these five competencies throughout your essay, you're hitting level four. If you mostly show these competencies, you're hitting level three. If you sometimes show these competencies, you're hitting level two. If you seldom or very rarely, in isolated cases, show some of these competencies, you're in level one. And as well you know, the level determines your mark, okay? Tune in for the next video where I'm gonna take you through a full breakdown of this response.